Hey Pisces, I hope y'all are doing well. This is going to be your general reading for September the 18th through the 24th. Any information you need, you can find it in the description box down below Pisces. We're going to go ahead and get started here for you. What do we have going on for Pisces? What do we have going on for Pisces? Let's see. What do we get here for you? Ow. Okay. Seven of Pentacles. Four of Cups. Five of Wands. Two of Wands, Two of Pentacles, and the Devil. My goodness, Pisces. My goodness, that's intense. But the Ten of Pentacles is your overall energy. I feel like you are throwing challenge after challenge here. And while that may be super exhausting as a Pisces, I know. <laughs> while that may be super exhausting, I feel like you come out on top. Okay, you come out on top of this Pisces. So, um... Let's get into this here and see what it's about. Ten of Pentacles is a really good money card. Really good card for family, for work, business. Um, you know, any kind of completion of a project or any kind of completion of something you put a lot of work uh, in on. I feel like you are uh, wrapping something up here, okay? You have the Seven of Pentacles. Saturn and Taurus. So somebody here could have Saturn and Taurus. What's going on with the Seven of Pentacles for Pisces? What's going on with the Seven of Pentacles for Pisces? Four of Wands, Venus in Aries, Three of Cups, Mercury in Cancer, and the Hermit. We got Virgo energy. None of these cards are bad. Seven of Pentacles isn't a bad card either, but a lot of the time it can talk about delays. I mean, you can even look at this person's face here in the Seven of Pentacles and feel like, wow, that looks super disappointing. That looks super sad. Um, you know, if you were interpreting it intuitively, you might feel like this is a sad card. Uh, it can represent delays. It can also just represent a break, you know, uh, taking a break to um, figure out, you know, should I keep going? Should I keep investing? It's, it's pretty much just evaluating, right? Um, we are in a retrograde right now, so that could definitely be the energy that you're in is evaluating. Now, some of you, the Hermit and the Three of Cups energy, you could be um, reconnecting with somebody here. I feel like if that's the case, you're gaining some kind of clarity. The Hermit, this is somebody who is isolated or you have isolated from this person here, Pisces. But, um, you know, on the surface, it looks like there's some kind of disappointment here. But the Four of Wands, there is a celebration of some sort. So um, I feel like you're going to be celebrating something. So for some of you, yes, there could have been delays. And now those delays uh, are coming to a close here, okay? Three of Cups is everything coming together here. It represents a harvest. And you have the Hermit, okay? So that can be a card of introspection. Um, it's a card of looking within, basically. Sometimes withdrawing from a situation. But I feel like you mainly, I think that you've already withdrawn. You've gained some knowledge. You've gained some wisdom. Them some insight in regards to something here, and I feel like you're able to apply that um, in some manner to bring about this um, energy of the Three of Cups and the Four of Wands, which is celebration, a coming together of some sort. Now, next you have the Four of Cups. Somebody here could have their moon in Cancer. We're going to look and see what's going on with the Four of Cups. What's going on with the Four of Cups for Pisces here? What's going on with the Four of Cups for Pisces? Five of Pentacles. Ace of Swords. And then Knight of Swords, Gemini Energy. We're going to go ahead and take that one because it wanted to come out to Justice. Okay, good. Um, good, because these cards look a little bit heavy here. Uh, the Knight of Swords, he's turning his back on something here, okay? He's impulsively moving towards something else. Pisces, I feel like you have other things on the brain, or you have had other things on the brain here is what I should say because this Five of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords, I think there have been some money problems here that you've been avoiding or there's something to do with your finances that you've been just, you not wanted to look at it. I feel like you're getting that back on track, especially considering the fact that you know, you got the Ten of Pentacles as your overall energy. So money is obviously, uh, you know, not bad or it's at least on the path to improvement here. Because in the Four of Cups, uh, she's avoiding what that you know what's in that cup as well. She's not looking at that. But the Ace of Swords, I feel like you're finally getting clear about what needs to be done here. You're like, what do I need to what do I need to do basically in order to get this on track? And I think with Justice showing up here, uh, you're able to finally do that. You're able to finally see what it is that needs to be done here in order to get you to this Ten of Pentacles and maintain it. Maintaining it is the key. So you have the Five of Wands here. Someone might have Saturn in Leo with this card showing up. You don't have to, but um, it is the energy of that card. Let's go ahead and look at the Five of Wands for Pisces here. Five of Wands for Pisces. What's going on with this here for Pisces, please? Five of Wands. 
Okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune. See, a lot of these cards, they look super scary on the surface. Okay, like the Five of Wands can be conflict. Ten of Swords, now it can be a scary card. It can look scary in like Rider Waite <laughs> and other decks. Uh, typically, it's somebody who is like face down, swords all in their back. It's like they didn't see this coming, right? They didn't see this coming. But here in this deck in particular, she's got the birds surrounding her. It's like there's this... Um, there's this energy of freedom that comes with that card, okay? Then you have death and rebirth. There's absolutely an ending to some conflict here, okay? Because the five of wands, conf conflict, competition, strife. Um, you know, this could even be games that have been played with an individual. Something's gone down here that, uh, you know, has caused some issues for you. And it's it's ending. That's why the ten of swords is here. That's why the death card is here. That's why the wheel of fortune is here. The wheel of fortune says that you're recycling your energy into something new, into something that is better for you. Not only is it better for you, but I feel like you're becoming a different version. 555, five, five, as I say that, uh, you're becoming a different version as you do this. And I think that's why the death card is here with that, okay? Next, you have the two of wands, Pisces, Mars and Aries. What's going on with this two of wands energy here for Pisces? The Page of Pentacles, Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like you're having some conversations um, with new people here about work, about business. I feel like you're meeting with some people here who have a lot of influence. You have the High Priestess here as well. We got Pisces energy with that one. And one more for this. The Two of Cups. Yeah, face-to-face -face meeting here. Uh, three twos showing up, Pisces, so that could be significant for you. You could be seeing two, two, two a lot. Um, I definitely feel as if you're in a space where you're more aware of your connection to the divine this week. Um, you're more aware that things are going to work out exactly as they should, even with all this heavy energy here. You know, Pisces, that you are going to come out on top. And I think towards the beginning of the week, there could be some anxiety. You may not be so certain that things are going to work out in your favor. You may start to question things, or you may be in um, a little bit of a depressive energy, but I think that that quickly goes away as you start to see signs and symbols and things of that nature that you're on the right track, that everything is working out for you, even if you cannot see it at this time. High Priestess can represent things that cannot be seen at this time, but also your intuition. So I think that once you weed out all these heavy emotions, you're able to really listen to that in full, Pisces which is some advice that I could take myself as a Pisces. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely I could because this looks like, you know, on the surface, things look bad. You know, when I first pulled these cards, things look bad on the surface. But as we get into them, they're actually pretty powerful changes going on for you, Pisces. It mainly feels like all this conflict is coming to an end. Not that it's coming up. Not that it's getting worse. It feels like most of this is coming to an end. You're seeing more clearly. Um, so this Two of Pentacles energy here, Jupiter in Capricorn. What's going on with this? I love readings like this because on on the surface things seem like one thing, and then you and then you get into it, and uh, you know I love the depth of it. Absolutely, what's going on with this? Nine of Swords, hair font. Ten of Wands. Yeah, you guys, I think you've been carrying a heavy weight here and you're finally cleansing yourself of that with the Ace of Cups energy. I'm going to watch this. I'm going to watch this every day as a Pisces so that way I can claim this energy here, this Ten of Pentacles, this Ace of Cups, uh, this Page of Pentacles here, this Six of Wands. Like there's good news about money. There's good news about work. I feel like there's um, a solid connection here that you're building on because underneath that you have the Knight of Cups. Like there's definitely something solid here that you are building on and it does take a lot of work. That's why the Ten of Wands is here. This is something that takes a lot of work, Pisces. Um, but anything of value, of course, is going to is going to do that. You also have the hair font and the nine of swords. I think that you're reflecting on this painful situation. We did have the moon show up just a little bit ago. I think you're reflecting on a really painful situation. Okay, something that was very inconsistent, up and down, fell apart a lot. You had to rebuild, you know. Um, I feel like you're finally allowing that to end. Okay. I think with the nine of swords, you're wrapping that up and you're just looking ahead. You're like, where where can I go from here? here. You know, how can I elevate from here? Because I know there's a lesson within this. I know there's a lesson within this. So I feel like you're building on other things at this time here, Pisces. Uh, somebody had something similar, but basically you're choosing not to let anything get you down. And like I said, that 10 of Pentacles energy, you're coming out on top despite everything you're up against. You have the devil right here, Capricorn. Um, what's going on with this? What's going on with this devil for Pisces? Ace of Cups. Mm -hmm. 
You're allowing some kind of toxic energy to just kind of fade away is how this feels to me with the Ace of Cups. You're just allowing that to melt away. If you have any anger, any resentment, any bitterness towards people, towards, you know, life, towards love, whatever the case may be here for you, Pisces, I feel like you're allowing that to completely melt away. Um, you're wanting to be more open and receptive, uh, more connected to everything, okay? What else here? Like, you don't want this devil to cause... Um, Oh, what would you, like you don't want this devil to build walls is basically the energy that I feel here. There's something that you've held on to and you, you start to see more clearly how it has built walls between you and other things that you have wanted for a long time. Pisces, whether it's this Ten of Pentacles, whether it may be love with the Ace of Cups, um, you're realizing how it's kept you from things. So I think that with the Ace of Cups, you're, you're cleansing yourself of that. I feel like you're just allowing any kind of bitter energy in your heart to melt away so you can be more open and receptive to the things that you're wanting to manifest here because you're always manifesting you don't have to be trying right you don't have to be trying you're always manifesting so if you're always in the devil energy or you know even a little bit of the time when you're in the devil energy uh, you can definitely be manifesting more of that and sometimes we're meant to experience that obviously so we're going to be calling that in from time to time it's just it's how it is but I think that you're in a space where you're becoming more aware of it and you know you're trying to um actually call on what you want actually give energy to what it is that you want not what it is that you don't want uh, we have virgo and gemini with that magician what else do we have for this what else do we have for this okay we have the emperor okay so an aries card here showing up with the emperor um and the emperor is somebody who takes responsibility i feel like you're also taking accountability for that devil energy for chaining yourself to it whatever that might have been for you whether it was a relationship a terrible job a terrible living space whatever it was for you pisces a lot of problems are ending here and i like it a lot i like it as a pisces i'm going to claim this because even again it's just it's so amazing to me how on the surface everything looked so terrible but it looks like you're letting go of all of this like this is triumph over obstacles right here with the chariot pisces i love that i love that um i do read for you over on patreon i read on instagram i read on tiktok i also have another channel pisces everything is linked down below for your convenience thank you all so much for watching bye